Hi, and welcome to my very awkward intro. My name is Susan Slash Bambi, and this is Bambi's Rambles. How are we, friends? Are we good? That's good. And if you're not okay, that's okay too. I literally just left the gym. I am still shaking from pre-workout. <laughs> um, but I also filmed in the gym today and did that whole thing. I will upload it later for you guys to see. But I just wanted to pop on here and kind of just... <sighs> I feel like I'm in an alternate universe. As you can see by the title, I'm going to be talking about Edwin's Generation, Xylee, Babs, and Salvo. And I have been quietly, ever since this whole situation where Xylee and Keemstar basically came out and had this live stream where they're calling it SA, um, pinning Repzina to a corner, like, Repzilla, you better say what this is, so on and so forth. Um... I've been trying to see all sides and I was like, I don't know if I want to cover this because I don't know. Look, I'm just going to tell you how it is. Edwin, I don't like him. I don't like him. And I think that this is, um, this, this, this is, this is, I, I don't want to say karma because if I want to sit there and say that Edwin has done some questionable things to all of his friends online and he's done some questionable things when it comes to allegations against people such as Marilyn Manson and you know there's there's you know what I'm talking about he has this whole content and this whole persona of this person that is that is um, you know being the advocate and the voice for SA victims and all these sorts of things and then you're gonna go around and have one of these victims be like you're gonna start a, a relationship with them and then wonder why this is kind of questionable to people regardless of whether it was both consenting adults or whatever it's just like you can't make that be your stance on the internet and then see the women that way and then use them for other things like it, it doesn't make any sense to me it doesn't make any sense okay so just that for a second just take that for a second salvo to you my friend who would most likely if he ever saw this video would most likely talk about my skin or i'm fat or i'm ugly or i've got you know i've shaved my head or whatever it might be because what i found unfortunately salvo was i was trying to hear your side i really was because i was like <coughs> when it runs out here saying Zyli is literally accusing people of SA. Keemstar is literally accusing people of SA. And even the person involved is saying that's not, it wasn't SA to me. Like I was like, all right, batter up guys. I, I want to see who's making big calls because they are, they are big calls. Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. But then we got fucking Salvo over here who was trying to make an eloquent point and then turns around and starts calling her a whore and dumb and this and that. Okay, if she's all these things under the sun, then why did you sleep with her? You're going to sit there and say it's because I'm a whore. Why don't you just admit you're a whore? That there says so much about your character that you would go out of your way to call a woman every name under the sun when she wasn't the one who called it SA right she's literally in in this call with you guys saying I never called it that I never called it that but you are all screaming at her like she's done something instead of listening to the whole thing where Bab said I never gave Xylee more information okay if she didn't give Xylee more information then where is this coming from but that point there is completely fucking missed when both of you are attacking this girl on a phone call and not having any sort of sense of um conversation or any sort of respect like you just fucking miss your point together and then people are like why do we care that's the bit that fucks you both. When you guys are jerks and aren't humble and don't see your own misgivings or the own mistakes you've made, no one's going to fucking hear you. Especially if you say babbling babs. Like, it just... I tried to see your, gu your side, guys, but I can't when you are doing that. It makes no fucking sense to me. Okay, so the next part is... I have been listening to, you know, the stream that Xylee did, and I think Xylee was very heated. Um, I think something along those lines uh, may have triggered Xylee in some sort of way, which, 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 again, listening to the whole thing of, <coughs> this is why, um, 
you know this is this is what happened in that car on, on that on that journey and when we hear Xylee say that she knows things that other people don't we all kind of like listen to Zyla and be like, all right, we trust Zyla. But then we get this thing where Babs is like, I never told Zyla any extra. That is what people need to focus on here. Let's just focus on that for just a second, right? Regardless of whether we hate Edwin, we hate Salvo, we love Keemstar, we hate Keemstar, we love Zyla, we hate Zyla, whatever it is. Just look at that little bit there because if that was said about any other creator in any other situation, people would kind of like double down on that and be like okay we just want to see this proof because it is a big accusation right it is a big accusation you know i'm not entirely sure who jumped on that call in xylee's um Zylie's stream but they were basically saying like this is this is actual crimes like you're accusing people of crimes you're getting repzilla to say the words like it's 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 crossing a line it's pretty fucking heavy if you ask me <coughs> So that there, I'm like listening to all of this and I'm like, why is no one talking about that? And why is no one talking about that? Because everyone is missing that because you guys are assholes and you have no, like, I'm just going to say humble thyself. That's all I fucking want to see from, from this is so everyone can, cause it is a big accusation, but Edwin, do you see that this is a big accusation and you have done this to other people? Like, can you just see how that went full circle here? Just for a moment, let's all take that in. Okay, so that's a big fucking deal. All right, so, and then, whatever proof comes out about Babs in this video that Edwin is bringing out, it doesn't really doesn't really change my stance on <coughs> right this second because my stance right this second is is that I want more proof from everybody so I can make the distinction into whether this was you know whether Xylee has more information that she's not sharing currently whether Bubs is a raging Looney Tune whatever it might be I want all that information but it doesn't change the fact that okay if these guys were in this car with Babs and they were pulling pulling their peckers out and doing all these sorts of things. That's uncomfortable. That's uncomfortable because if I sit there and think to myself, right? This person is on the phone call on the internet for the world to see, right? She's on this call with these two guys and that is how they're treating her on a call for the interwebs to see to prove their point of how wonderful they are. Then I don't know what I believe happened in that car because you're a jackass in front of absolutely fucking everybody. So what are you doing in a car on the interstate? Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. But I'm not going to sit there and say that I have secret information like Xylee did that she didn't have. If she does have it, that's okay. Bring it out, girlfriend. I do appreciate the fact that Xylee was saying Babs doesn't consider this SA. Okay? I get that. And I appreciate that. Because it was good for Xylee to put that in bold letters that she doesn't. she's not accusing these people of this. Right? But... I think Xylee could have had a conversation on the stream where she's like, this is fucked up. This is questionable. This is like used to a jerks, used to a, like, if that's going to be your shtick on YouTube, Edwin, which is saving the SA victims of the world who are being groomed or manipulated by YouTubers, you can't go and do that. You can't. There are so many people on the internet <coughs> and the world. I just think that you cross boundaries there. And... I think that Babs was in an uncomfortable situation and that is what she's saying to everybody. She's not sitting here saying, I'm an SA victim. I was in an uncomfortable situation because the night before I had consensual S with these two guys. She even said it was hot in the call, which was whatever. I don't care what people do in their personal business. Go have fun. But when you bring it to the internet, and everyone gets to have an opinion, let's just be very careful with accusing people of 
fucking crimes. So what we're gonna say is Salvo, you're a cheating, lying douchebag. That's what you are, okay? To me, in my humble opinion. But I'm not gonna sit here and label him with crimes. I just say that you're a douchebag. Like, as the same with Edwin. But if more comes out, more comes out. If more doesn't come out, more doesn't come out. <clears throat> I just, yeah, I just wanted to, I'm just like, I get why he's mad. That is a big thing to be accused of. Huge. But no one's hearing what you're saying, my friend, because you guys are just, you're not eloquent in your points. And this whole thing about Keemstar, or Keemstar is like, Keemstar's getting in on this saying that it is questionable, so on and so forth. And it, he said that the internet has a different definition to the rest of the world. So I think the rest of the world would say these guys are creeps. And that what they did to Babs, if she was uncomfortable, is wrong. And, and the whole internet can think you're douchebags. But... I don't know if I would go as far as to say S.A. I, I, it's an actual crime. And this person that it is meant to be perpetrated against is not doing that. And she was in that situation. That is her choice. I just don't see myself as a woman supporting women that I would go out and tell her that she was S.A. if she does not think that she was S.A. I think that is that strips a little bit of personal. Um, like for me, I would be offended if someone did that for me. But that's just me, so I wouldn't do that. But I don't know how the rest of the world fucking thinks because I'm, I'm noticing more and more every single day that maybe it's because I'm autistic. I don't fucking know. But I just don't have the same recollection of... Like, when things happen, I feel like my recollection is different than everybody else's. Because I'm watching it and I'm like, what the fuck is happening? And you all have such a different stance sometimes. And I'm just like... I, I don't get it. I really, really don't get it. And why is no one talking about the fact that Babs is saying, my man, he was my man, he was my man. And he, Edwin is saying, what the hell? Like, if we were to look at this a little bit differently just for a second and say, just say, Who's a, who's a big YouTuber? Tell me a big YouTuber. Trisha Paytas. Someone out here saying Trisha Paytas is my girl, is my woman, is my this, is my that. And Trisha Paytas is like, well, we hung out a few times, but I don't really know you like that or whatever. Like, just 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 see that inconsistency for a second. This woman is like, like, is it she's crazy or he's literally lying to everybody? Like, you see what I mean? Like, it's just so interesting. Anyway, I bubbled enough. The pre-workout is finally all out of my system and i gotta go home and live my life i guess i don't know anyway guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it moment to like subscribe send a pigeon keep the same energy and i don't even know if this is going to be a good video to put up but i just wanted to talk for a second anyway bye